These are the tools you will require to build your first garden wall retaining wall. Digging and measuring the trench. Make sure you check with the council or your house drawings to ensure there are no services like cables or water pipes in the area of excavation. Excavate a trench which is 450mm wide and 150mm deep. Backfill the trench with gap 20 so when it's compacted it's approximately 100mm thick. Rake the gap 20 to get a level surface. Gap 20 means the maximum aggregate size is 20 millimeters. Using a spirit level, screed and check that the trench is level. Compact the gap 20 with a vibrating plate compactor. Check the compacted gap 20 is level. Extra time should be taken to make sure this is accurate as this determines what the rest of the wall will look like once completed. Perth Garden Wall has a positioning nib on the underside of the block which sets the batter for the system. The first course unit's positioning nibs need to be removed so that the units when placing are level. Wearing the correct safety gear, remove the positioning nib with a bolster and hammer. When laying the first course, Level the units front to back and side to side. This is important to ensure the rest of the wall on top is correct. Continue laying the rest of the units, ensuring they are all level using a long spirit level. Align the back of the units to a string line as the front has a split face finish. Lay the subsurface drainage pipe along the back of the units and slope it to drain to one or both sides. Line up the middle of the unit to create a stretcher bond. Suitable drainage aggregates for behind the wall. Use a brush to clean the top of the units before installing the next course. Continue using the same process for the rest of the courses, ensuring that the drainage aggregate continues all the way up. And there you have it, your first garden wall retaining wall.